Good morning students, I'm Amrita Ghosh from Great Mission Public School in Mathur Block and I'm teaching you computer science as a subject. So I hope you have gone through the first video of editing in MS Excel and today we will cover up the last section of this chapter. I hope you are able to understand the basic information about how you can edit data and the features that you can enable in MS Excel. I believe we have gone through how to enter data, how you can edit the data in cell and in formula bar. So please watch the rest of the video in today's lecture series. Thank you. Welcome students. So students we are in the second day of your chapter number 5 editing in MS Excel. So I hope that in your previous class I gave you a brief idea about Excel and I told you about what is a table, how table is formed, how we can enter the data in MS Excel using cell format and through formula bar. Other than that I told you about cell format if you want to change different type of format you need to uh, open a launcher for cell format and I give you example of date how to change the date format using cell format feature so in today's topic we are going to cover up how to insert rows and columns how to delete rows and columns and how to adjust height and width of rows and column in a worksheet. So we are going to do this today in this online class. So let's check. Let me minimize this. My Excel sheet is already open. Let me delete everything from here. So, before creating or deleting any rows and columns, for simplicity, let me create a border of a table so that it would be easy for you to understand. So, what I did is, I went to home tab. Before going to home tab, I select the number of cells. I went to home tab and in font group, I selected these all border. Let me delete this step. Let's say you have three columns and six rows of a table. So this table can be represented as 3 into 6 that means 18 cells are there in this table. You can very well count column wise there are 3 columns and there are 6 rows so 3 into 6 equals to 18. So there are 18 cells in a table. Now if I want to insert rows and columns I will show you two methods one is through your mouse the second is through the menu tab how can you insert or delete rows and columns so let me show you insertion process so before inserting a row and a column you first have to select the rows or the column there are two possibilities one is through drag drag and select the column or the other one is click on the left side of the row let's say i want to insert a row uh, below row number two i want to insert a row over here so in order to insert a row select that row or click on the top left corner 
of the row on row number three so selecting a row will select the entire row on this worksheet now right click on it and click on insert the moment i click on insert it will move the current row that means row number three to downward direction let me show you how right click on it and click on insert so in the moment i click on insert you have noticed that the current row this one which was here it moves to downward and here the row is insert let me show you once again i right click on this row number three and click on insert so you have noticed that two rows has been inserted consecutively earlier there were six rows now there are eight rows in a similar manner select the column where you want to insert the column right click on it and click on insert it will move the current column to the right side one second let me show you did you see that so the current column moves towards right hand side always remember whenever you are going to insert a row the current row will shift towards downward direction and the current column will shift towards right direction let me show you once again see this Do you see that so this is how rows and columns can be inserted now let me show you deletion process sorry now let me show you from the menu tab how you can insert rows and columns in order to insert rows and columns select the rows that from where you want to insert the additional row then go to home tab look in cell row you will find insert icon click on this arrow this figure that you are seeing on the screen is exactly the same figure that is given in your book on page number 68 in figure 5.4 so you have four options as because I'm going to insert a row in a worksheet so I will select the second option insert sheet row so once I click on it it will insert the current row in a given table let me insert it once again I'm adding one more row in the current column so you will see the changes that the current row is moved to next row in a similar manner if you want to insert a column let's say I want to insert a column in column number A so again go to home tab in cells group click on insert icon and this time you will select insert sheet column the moment you select sheet uh, worksheet column that current column will move towards right side did you see that so this is how you can insert and uh, this is how you can insert rows and columns using menu tab now how to insert multiple rows and multiple columns so it's very simple let me show you shortcut method I want to select two rows so what I did is through mouse I select the entire row number four and five so this time two rows are selected right click on it and click on insert so the, it depends on how many rows and columns you are inserting whatever selection you are doing the same insertion of rows and columns can be added in a table 
so I selected two rows so two rows are added to the current table if I select four rows right click and I insert four rows would be added in this table in a similar manner if I want to insert three columns and insert it will add three columns in a table so it's very simple there's nothing a miracle over here and now this time how to delete current column so if I want to delete let's say I want to delete column number C from the current table select the column right click on it click on delete if I want to delete multiple columns select the desired column that you want to delete right click on it and click on delete so current selected column will be deleted from the table in a similar manner if you want to delete rows multiple rows together select the desired row that you want to delete right click on it and click on delete in a similar manner you can do so using menu tab first you have to select number of rows or number of columns that you want to delete and go to cells group click on delete and select the desired column that you want to delete so it's gone so this is how you can do it it's very simple i guess okay and now i'm going to show you your second topic which is which says about how to increase height and width of rows and columns student if you have noticed there are different grids as i told you yesterday these grids are also called cells the cells that you are seeing on every rows and columns are of equal size if you want to check the height of the row sorry how to height of the cell then right click on it and <coughs> so so how to calculate or how to find the height of the row So your next topic covers adjusting height and width of column. Let me read it for you. What are the methods given over here? In MS Excel spreadsheet, the default row height is 50 and the column width is 8.43. You can adjust row height and column width to fit the content in a cell. Row height and column width can be adjusted in a multiple way such as setting up height or width, auto fit content and changing default width of column. So to adjust height and width of row and column, first you need to know what is the current height and width of row and column so if you can see this screen there are different there are multiple cells that you are seeing as a grid over here and every cell is of same height and length so this is the height of your cell and this is the length of the cell so what is the default height given the default height given in your book is 15 which is of row height and column 
to it is 4.3 now how you can check it over here so if you want to see column size what you can do is go to home tab first select the cell go to home tab then then in cell group you will find format once you click on format you will find the same figure that is given in page number 70 in figure 5.5 which is format cell so here you will find row height and column width if you click on row height it will show you the height of the row which is 15 point and if you want to check column width click over here it will show you exactly the same points that is given in your book which is 8.43 so this is the default height and width of a cell now if you want to increase the height of the row then what you can do click on cell format click on sorry click on cell I'm sorry in order to increase row height select the cell go to home tab then in cell group click on format and then click on row height and then increase the size of the row height let's say let me increase the size to 50 and let me click on ok so once I click on OK, you might have noticed the height of the row has been increased and it is increased in row number 5 because this particular cell was present in row number 5 and as because I want to increase the height of the row, height has been increased to 50. Yes, but width remains the same, which was 8.43 because this particular area is of row. So, entire row height has been increased. Whenever you are increasing the height of the row, the row height will increase. It will not increase column width and entire row. In every column will remains the same it is not increasing only cell increase it is increasing the entire row in a similar manner if I want to increase the width of the column again I have to select the cell and then I have to go to cell group in home tab then click on format and then I click on column width if I want to increase the size of the width let's say I want to increase it to 40 so it will this time it will increase the width of the entire column so you might have noticed this particular column width has been increased which is irrespective of other column other columns width remains the same so this is how you can manually adjust height and the row of the cell. The second simple method is uh, you can place your mouse cursor towards the starting point of the row or end point of the row or starting point of the column and accordingly you can adjust row height and column width let me show you how see depending on the 
the width of the row or the width of the column you can adjust by dragging the mouse cursor on the edge of the two columns or rows if you place your mouse over here you can very well see how you can adjust row height and column width so this is how you can adjust the height and width of the cell auto fit content uh, is nothing but according to the area of the width and area of the column it may automatically make changes by checking the other area of the cell so that is the end of this topic so see you tomorrow then goodbye students